Hey gamers, and welcome to the board meeting, where for the most part I teach board games. So if you'd like to support the board meeting, please like and subscribe. Today I'm going to be teaching Colt Super Express, which is the small card version of the older Colt Express game. In Colt Express, three to seven players will be trying to be the last bandit left aboard the train. Let's open up the box and set up the game. To set up, grab all of the train cards and place the locomotive card down first, followed by one train card per player plus one. So in a four player game, we would set up five train cards attached to the locomotive. Each player takes a bandit meeple and the four corresponding cards of that color. Pick a first player and that player places their bandit on the furthest train car and takes the first player card. Then going in clockwise order, players will put their bandits on the next open train car. Half of the bandits rounded up, located in the rearmost cars face towards the locomotive while all other bandits will face the caboose. The game is broken up into rounds. At the beginning of every round, players take all four of their cards and choose three of them and place them face down in front of themselves, one on top of the other. The cards will be resolved from the first one on top to the last card on bottom, so the order in which you lay them down is very important. After all players have laid their cards down, the player with the first player card starts the round and flips over their topmost card and resolves that card's action. Then the next player in clockwise order re would resolve their top card, and so on. Each player only plays one card at a time and waits till it is their turn to flip over their next card. Play continues for the round until all cards have been played. After all cards have been played, the caboose of the train is taken off. If any players are on the caboose, they are eliminated from the game. The player that was closest to the caboose gets the train card and flips it over for its loot side value. Then the first player card gets passed to the next player on the left that is still in the game. A new round begins, and again each player chooses their three cards and which order they want to play them in. Let's take a look at these four base cards that each player gets. First, there is the flip card, and that simply just changes the direction from which your bandit is looking. So purple would end up looking this way. And which way you're pointing is always important in this game. Next is the change floor card, which just simply changes if you're on the top of the roof or the bottom. If you happen to move floors and there's a bandit in that area, say if red was going down here, position them at the ed for their back to be the on the edge of the card. The next card is moving. You would simply move in the same direction that your bandit is pointing to the next card. If you're in the train, you'd move into the train of the next card. If you're on top of the roof, you'd go on top of the roof of the ne next card. If there's other bandits in that area that you're moving, you simply move to the closest edge that you just moved from. If ever you move and you're on the last card, You'd move off the train and you are instantly eliminated from the game. The last card is firing. And when you use this, you shoot the opponent that is closest to you in that line of sight. So if I was purple, I would shoot the yellow. When you get shot, you get launched off to the next card and you lay that card, you lay that bandit down and that bandit is now stunned. If you ever shoot a bandit off of the train, they are eliminated from the game as well. If your bandit is ever stunned, your next card, no matter what you play, simply just stands that bandit up and ignores the action of that card. The game ends when there's only one bandit left on the train. If there are a few bandits left at the end of the game, when all of the train cards have been taken and you're only left with the locomotive, the bandit that has the most loot cards ends up winning. If there's a tie for loot cards, then the bandit that has the loot card with the highest value wins. And that is how you play Colt Super Express. Take care everyone and have a great day.